Hi guys, welcome to Primrose and Pearl Bath Products. My name is Melinda. Today I'm going to be making a soap inspired by the movie Inside Out, or rather Inside Out 2. The second one is coming out really soon, and so I got inspired to create a whole collection around it. Today the soap I am working on is called Joy and Sadness. One of the themes of the movie is that you cannot have joy without sadness, and so I wanted to incorporate both of those into the same soap. I've already mixed up my oils and my lye water. What I'm doing now is splitting the batch into two equal parts so that I can have the two colors I need, which will be blue for sadness and yellow for joy. The yellow I'm using here is Firefly Mica from Nurture Soap. I suspended it in a little bit of oil just to get it to mix properly, and then I go ahead and add it to my soap batter. Next up, I'm going to mix in my blue. The blue I'm using is Blue Vibrance, also from Nurture Soap. Also suspended in the oil, so I put that into my soap batter and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in as well. For the pour I'm doing today, I wanted to keep the two colors separated until I go in there and start to swirl them together. So I just cut this piece of plastic and left a little edge on the top so that it would hang over my soap mold. And I'm going to pour both colors at the same time very slowly. Now, if I wanted a more perfect separation of the colors, I would have used a different material. As you can see right here, it is kind of floppy and it's leaking a little bit on the bottom. For the technique that I'm doing, it really didn't matter if it was perfect. But if you are looking to do something where it's like a crisp division of the colors, they have better things out there. This is what I had on hand, but I know that you can buy actual ready-made dividers for doing stuff like this. Again, I'm just going slow until I fill up the entire mold with all of the soap batter with those two colors. Even aside from the characters in the movie, I really like the combination of the blue and the yellow, I just feel like it's a striking contrast and actually my wedding colors were also blue and yellow so it's got a little special place in my heart this particular color combo. Now that I have my soap batter in, I'm pulling out my divider and using my trusty clothes hanger, a plain straight up wire clothes hanger that I bend to fit into my soap molds. And what I am doing is I went all the way to the bottom of the soap mold and I'm doing a back and forth motion so that I can pull the blue and the yellow into each other to give it kind of a swirl but not quite a swirl. And I'm just pulling across, pulling up a tiny bit, pulling across, pulling up a tiny bit, and then I keep doing that over and over and over. I went all the way up to the top of the soap, and then I'm going all the way back down to the bottom of the soap so I can get that motion going two different ways. And then I just pull it out. And my favorite part, I'm going to swirl the top of the soap here so that I can get that blended, meshing together look in the top of the soap too. If you've ever watched the original Inside Out movie, there is a scene where the character Sadness is like touching all of the other core memory balls and changing the colors of them. So it changes from like the bright yellow joy into the blue of the Sadness. And that's where I got the inf inspiration to do this particular technique. I wanted it to look like the colors were sort of meshing into each other and I think I nailed it with this one. 
All right, here is the look of the top of the soap after it has all been swirled. I just think it looks so pretty with the blue and the yellow together. My soap has now sat for about 24 hours, so I am going to go ahead and get it cut up. First, I take it out of my mold, and then I have to take the silicone lining off. And once I do that, it will be ready for cutting. Here is the first cut. So you can see how the blue and the yellow have sort of started to shift into each other. I think it's a really cool look for a soap and I would love to try the technique maybe with three colors next time and just see how that kind of changes things. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of the loaf. Some last looks here. Hopefully you could see throughout the cutting how every bar is different. And I got inspired when I started cutting at the end. There's a different soap technique called a Luna Swirl that's supposed to make the soap look like a butterfly. And I kind of got that vibe, but not quite. Um, from this one, I loved when I put the two yellows together, how it looked like a little sunburst there. So I couldn't help but put them together and, and see how that would look. Cutting up the last bar here. I would love to hear in the comments, what do you think about this soap? And do you like the movie Inside Out? Are you excited for the second one? Thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Until next time.